Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rusta Makishbekov. I'm a co-founder and CEO at Robot Technologies. Uh, we're a Vienna-based robotics company. Uh, we're building uh, electronic robotics products for children. So we're uh, embedding different kind of sensors, microcontrollers, motors into the plastic modules uh, so that even a five-year-old can build its own robot uh, and learn the base of robotics and coding. So uh, our story started four years ago uh, when I came to study computer science uh, uh, to the Vienna University of Technology from Kazakhstan. Uh, so uh, I dropped out of uh, university in, in Kazakhstan because uh, I wanted to study uh, computer science in Vienna. Uh, and yeah, like uh, I was uh, always uh, into electronics. I was hacking my game consoles uh, to play free games, you know, and uh, I was like uh, hacking stuff, playing uh, with different kind of open source uh, electronics platforms. And uh, I was building different kind of robots, gadgets, like this one. And yeah, uh, in one day, I uh, built a prototype of the robot. So actually this one, uh, it has motors, uh, servos, some microcontrollers, and the pen attached to it. Uh, so, it could get, uh, so it could actually drive around on the floor and draw different kind of stuff. And yeah, it was fun, it was my hobby. And then uh, uh, one day I woke up in the morning, opened my computer and saw the advertisement of the startup competition. And the main prize was like $10,000. And I decided to participate. Uh, and, the, and I had to uh, shoot a video, a very nice video, like, uh, like one minute uh, pitch on why uh, my uh, idea is the coolest one. And I was looking for a guy uh, who will help me with, the, with video. And uh, uh, luckily, um, uh, my neighbor uh, in my dormitory, uh, Yuri, was actually uh, the coolest video maker. And, uh, and I asked him to help me. And we shoot a video, uh, actually, and won $10,000, uh, basically. Uh, yeah, that was really, really amazing. And so we won uh, this money from like a very big uh, robotics venture fund that investing in robotics and AI companies. Um, yeah, like uh, a lot of media and press start to write about us. Um, yeah, and people actually start to reach out us and ask about where they can actually buy this product. And we're like, wow, there is a, a, a demand on the market. People actually want to buy this thing. We can make business out of it. And yeah, and we decided to focus on this. We dropped out of our universities uh, and started to work uh, on this product full time. And we're like two guys. Um, and we didn't have any kind of business experience, and we uh, found uh, our third co-founder who had experience in business. Her, uh, her name is Anna. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and we're like three co-founders with, with a great product uh, and people that want to buy it. And yeah, basically, uh, we didn't have any, any kind of experience in startups, and we, uh, so when we started to apply to different kind of uh, accelerators, incubators, we applied to Y Combinator, uh, Tech Stars. Uh, and then uh, managing director of the tech stars in Boston. It's like also one of the coolest incubators in the world. And he said, okay, guys, you're based in Vienna, right? I'm like, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm coming, so I'm coming to Europe next week. Uh, like, uh, it's, uh, mm, I'm, so I'm coming to Croatia. It's very close to Vienna, right? We're like, yes. So, and uh, so actually he was coming to Split, it's like south of Croatia, it's like 15 hours away from Vienna. <laughs> and we bought it, like a, a ticket to the bus and went to uh, Split to meet uh, with this guy. His name is Semyon Dukac. It was like uh, uh, beginning of 2014. Uh, yeah, and he said, okay guys, you are cool, you have a cool product, you have a cool team, but we won't be able to help you with anything in Boston. You need to learn how to manufacture your product. You need to go to China. We are like, okay. <laughs> and he said, okay, I'll make an intro to one uh, Chinese venture fund. They're investing in uh, early stage hardware companies and, he, and you should talk to them. And yeah, basically he made an intro. Uh, yeah, and we started to talk to, to this Chinese venture fund. And uh, actually this guy, uh, uh, have you watched the movie uh, called 21 about how uh, students from Las Vegas went to uh, uh, to casinos and like basically hacked the system uh, and won like million dollars? Uh, 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 have you watched this movie? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And basically, this movie was actually a short uh, uh, based on the life story of this guy. 
unbelievable. It's like real story. And now he's investing uh, the money he got into startups. That's even more funny. And basically, yeah, uh, so we received an offer from this uh, Chinese venture fund uh, that's uh, uh, helping uh, young uh, hardware companies with manufacturing in China. And we relocated to China in July 2014 from Vienna. So we spent half a year in China working with the factories, uh, basically. Uh, so uh, if you're an engineer and you're prototyping your product somewhere in Vienna, uh, it doesn't mean that you'll be able to produce it on mass scale. Right, so uh, so it can work at your home, but it doesn't mean that you'll be able to produce it. Uh, so uh, and you need to go to China to, to to talk to your factory, basically certify it, and work on uh, on a lot of stuff. And we spent a half a year uh, in China. It was a very fun experience. Uh, yeah, and basically what we created, we decided to embed sensors, uh, microcontrollers, into the uh, Lego-like uh, blocks. Uh, to make uh, electronics uh, more uh, intuitive and accessible uh, for children. And so this is how our early, uh, like early prototype looked like. Uh, and then uh, we actually came to this. And this is what we have right now. It's basically an educational modular robotics platform. Uh, it has different kind of sensors, microcontrollers, uh, and you can build your own robot without even knowing uh, anything about electronics. And you can actually program it with a very intuitive programming language. Um, so we came back to Vienna at the end of 2014. We became top eight startup uh, on the Pioneers Festival. We became Robotics Project of the Year in Austria. And then in 2015, we became Startup of the Year in Vienna and in Austria. And we set up a goal for ourselves uh, uh, to actually go to market uh, on 2015. And we were like preparing a lot to, to, to our crowdfunding campaign. And uh, like one month before, uh, we got accepted to uh, TechCrunch Disrupt uh, Startup Battlefield program. It's like sort of Oscar for startups. Um, and uh, so, and we could actually launch our crowdfunding campaign there. It was a big success. Uh, we raised uh, $250,000 from 1,200 people from 58 countries. So basically, almost the whole world uh, backed our project. And uh, uh, almost all media outlets wrote about us. Uh, like at, like TechCrunch, Wired, Make Magazine, and many many others. So since then, uh, so we received the offers, uh, uh, orders uh, from schools in Vienna, Austria, and other countries, and uh, we are getting to retail stores by the end of this year. Uh, so and uh, so it was a story about how uh, two guys uh, from the dormitory uh, create the prototype uh, and actually. Uh, brought the product to mass production. And the, everything uh, looks relatively easy, and everything happened uh, uh, r r really quickly, right? But uh, so actually, this journey was uh, was tough one. If you decide to make something big, uh, uh, you should know that uh, it's going to be a long journey, and the perseverance uh, is what matters most. <clears throat> if, you, if you decide to make something big, um, so you should know that you don't uh, uh, pace yourself and that uh, and you don't uh, quick too early, and then you'll be able uh, to build amazing things. So I hope that you'll not only inspire today, but also got some practical tips, and I expect to see a lot of great uh, a lot of great things from you. Thank you.